Greetings, this is Chris from Tantalizing Tech, and once again, we're going to run a 3D benchmark for the Dell XPS 17 9730. Uh, this particular one is the Fire Strike, and it's the DirectX 11 benchmark for gaming PCs. As you can see here, it gives a description of the graphics test, the physics test, the combined test, and also an overall test description of the test. And it also gives the Hall of Fame right there on the right-hand side. I'm going to click Run. See if we can get this test underway. Right now, you can see that the uh, 3D Mark is uh, collecting system information for the Fire Strike test. When the actual uh, videos and sound starts for the test, I'll go on mute. And right now, I'll just pause a little bit so I can collect the system information. As you can see, it still collects the system information, but it's relatively quick. Let's give it a little bit of time. In terms of this video, what we have here is the MSI 3D Mark Fire Strike demo. You can see it's loading up the test.
as you can see, that was a pretty extensive test there. Uh, as we're now loading up another uh, test for 3D Mark Firestrike graphics test, so I'll go back on mute. And once again, it's finished another test, and uh, this is for 3D uh, Mark Fire Strike, and this is Graphics Test 2 that's now starting. And it does these for both of the CPUs and GPUs. And again, it's finished with another test. And it's loading one more test for the physics test. Okay. Another test that is uh, loading is the combined test. All right, let's load in the results. So in terms of the 3D Mark Fire Strike score, you can see that this laptop achieved a 24,191. You see there's also a validation warning saying the graphics driver is not approved. Not sure why that is. I'll research it and update the video if necessary, but um, in terms of the graphics driver, it came directly from, from Dell. So we have the Intel Iris XE graphics card lo uh, located in this laptop. And we also have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 laptop with the GPU. Um, in terms of the score, again, 24,191. As we scroll down, you can see the monitoring graphs. And you could also see the system information there. In terms of GPU number one, we have the Intel Iris XE graphics. GPU number two is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 laptop GPU. The CPU is the 13th generation Intel Core i9-13900H. And you can see the time and system info uh, there on the screen. In terms of detail score, you can see the graphics score of 27,826. You can see the graphics test one of 149. 0.71 frames per second. You can also see the graphics test 2 of 101.51 frames per second. The physics score is 26001. The physics test is 82.55 frames per second. The combined score is 11609 and the combined test is 54 frames per second. As we scroll down we have uh, the detailed monitoring and I'll just walk through the graph and let you see the different levels for the uh, frame rate for frames per second. So it looks like we're going up to about 140, 142, and then we might drop down to maybe 57. So we're going to do the different levels and you can see uh, where we are in terms of frame rate. It looks like about 65 to 70, 53, 75, 72, 78. I think I saw 93 in there. 91, 
And we also have the graphics test one and graphics test two, the physics test and the combined test. And you can see these scores, the graphics test one, uh, 128.51, looks like it's gonna go up to maybe 177.93. And this is 176.95. This is uh, about at 95 and it's going up 121 or 130. And in terms of the physics tests, we're at about 96 and you know we might go over to about 84. In terms of the combined tests, we have about 47 and it goes about up to 71.09. In terms of temperature, which is the GPU temperature, we are about Eh, about 61 degrees Celsius, uh, and that's in Celsius uh, GPU temperature. Staying fairly constant around 62, 63. Yeah, 62 and 63 it looks like. And at the end it might drop off to 58. We have graphics test 1, which is about 61, 56. Uh, graphics test 2, which is about 59, 60. We have the physics test, which is about, 50, I'm sorry, the uh, top bar there is about at 77 right now, and also about 63 at the end. In terms of percentage, uh, which is GPU load, we have a level of about 90, 97, and it looks to be fairly constant, 97, 98. At the end, it drops down to 22.47. We also have the graphics test one for this uh, percentage test. And it looks constant at about 99. Then it drops down to about 17.95. For the graphics test two, we have goes up to about 100 or 99 and then drops down to about 36. For the physics test, it goes up to about 85 then fluctuates, goes out to maybe 30, goes back up to 76, and then down to 32. And then the combined test is about 97, and it goes 89, and then back up to 98. For the frequency test, uh, this is the CPU clock. This particular test is about 2,793, 2,400 right now. 2,000, 2,625, and then it stays fairly constant at about 1,900 or 1,995. For the graphics test one, we have about, right now, 2,578, we have 2,688, 2,293, 3,800, and for the graphics test number two, right now it's at about 2,000. For the uh, physics test, it was about 4,000, and now well, I think it goes up to like 5,086. For the um, combined test, you can see there is about 4,800. And we're scrolling back up towards the top here, looking at the system information and the detail score, which we've gone over before. You could also see the color coding for frame rate, which is in orange, GPU temperature, which is in green, GPU temperature, which is in blue, GPU low, which is in red, and some of the other colors that are out there. In terms of the score, uh, it says once again, graphics driver is not approved, so I'll research that and update the video if necessary. Uh, this is the Firestrike score of 24,191 with the NVIDIA RTX 4080. Um, and also with the Intel Core i9-13900H, and it tells us where the scores are. So you can see that this score is at 24,191, which is better than 92% of the results. But the top mark there is for the premium gaming PC 2020, uh, which is 35,141. And you can see some of the other scores for a high-end gaming PC, and also a uh, gaming PC for 2020.
as you hear, you can see the graphics card, uh, NVIDIA RTX 4080, uh, the Dell, uh, the laptop manufacturer, Dell Computer Corporation. You, it says number of cards, it's just one, and it has about 12 gigabytes for the NVIDIA RTX 4080. You can also see the various frequencies there. You can also see the uh, average temperature, which is 60 degrees Celsius, and that's in Celsius once again, uh, for the temperature for the graphics card and the driver version. In terms of processor, you can see the Intel Core i9 13900H processor. You can see the clock frequency and the average clock frequency. You can see the average temperature and the logical processors. And you could also see the number of cores, which is 14. In terms of other information, uh, of course, we're running 64-bit of Windows 11, and you can see the version uh, manufactured by Dell, 64 gigabytes of memory uh, with two sticks of 32 gigabytes. Uh, hard drive is a one terabyte NVMe PCIe um, NVMe SK Hynix one terabyte. And the reason why I was pausing is that in a future video, uh, I'll show you how to upgrade this laptop to an 8 terabyte drive that's out there. So that's something to uh, look forward to. Just scrolling back up towards the top so you can see the overall score again, which is 24,191 for the NVIDIA RTX 4080 and the Intel Core i9-13900H. I want to thank you for watching. This has been Tantalizing Tech. Thank you.